Hi, and welcome to Poly Pavilion, located at the campus of UCLA, home to the legendary John Wooden and the UCLA Bruins. My name is Monique Billings, and this is Spotlight, featuring Casey Swain. The 6'3 senior forward is no stranger to the Bruins. In the 2013 season, Swain tore her right ACL and was forced to redshirt, making this her fifth year with the team. Last season, Swain recorded the first double-double of her career with 10 points and a career-high 11 rebounds during the Pac-12 tournament quarterfinals. As a diabetic competing in a total of 35 games last season, Swain has become an advocate for athletes across the country playing with diabetes. This is Spotlight. Let's talk about your life as a teenager. Mm -hmm. So many kids just running around, acting crazy, having fun. Mm -hmm. Casey had something <laughs> serious she had to deal with. Talk about that. Yeah, when I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. So that was my junior year of high school, end of my junior year. And yeah, it was a big, a big change in my life. As an athlete, how do you cope with that? How do you move through that? How do you not just say, maybe I shouldn't play? I mean, that wasn't an option. I always knew I wanted to play. So for me, it was how do I work with this disease so that I can play? So it was just me and my dad figuring it out step by step every year to make it so that I could play to the best of my ability. What are some things that you have to do daily to keep everything normal? Yeah, daily I have to check my blood sugar about maybe six, seven, eight times. So it's like pricking, pricking my finger so the blood comes out. And then I have to, I wear an insulin pump, which is on me all the time, where it administers insulin to with my meals and just throughout the day, just constantly keeping my blood sugar at a stable level. And then with, I have to monitor what I eat. So I have to eat like foods with low sugar. So like whole grains, not like candy or like soda, just like a healthy diet most of the time. And then so, and if I don't do these things, I can't play, so, or worse, it affects my life, like, mm -hmm. yeah. So the discipline aspect of dealing with this disease, is that the most challenging? Yeah, it's doing it every day, and then, because it is, it's kind of like a job, you have to work at it, but you don't get, you don't get to take a break from it. You can't just go, okay, I did five out of seven days, let me take a break. It's literally every single day. How is the team and the staff really rallied around you and, and helped you? The, my teammates are always fun. They always like crack jokes, but, so they make it like a light and fun thing. So mm. it's real, they're really sweet about it. They always ask if I'm okay. And the coaches have been really helpful with getting people in our staff who really understand and know and can help me through it on the court. So they've been great. Give me an example of one of the light, sweet things that they do. <laughs> so like, like, cause, I wear my insulin pump all the time, right? So it's so basically it's like a manufactured pancreas, right? Mm -hmm. So but Naira or Kelly will call it my heart. So like <laughs> it's sort of like like I take it off sometimes like during practice, like so I take a different form of insulin and then if I forget it, Naira like, Casey, I have your heart here and then, <laughs> and then they're like, Here, I saved your life. So basically it's just like thank you, Naira. <laughs> here I saved your life. Yeah. Saves my life constantly. So these teammates are yours. Yeah. I tell you what. Speaking of teammates and this team, you're a fifth year senior. Yes. You were the last person on the team not recruited by Corey Close and her staff. Right. What formed your decision to want to stay a Bruin? I mean, UCLA is just a great academic. And I know people say that all the time, but it's really, I don't see why anybody else would choose another school. And then Coach Corey, she came in, you know, with her peppy personality. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I feel like I'm meant to be here. And I just had. I was just diagnosed my junior high school, so I wanted to stay close to home because I was still figuring out my disease, so I wanted to be by my family and my doctors. So, yeah. so it was all worked out. Tell me some of your remember wins. Well, a huge one is when I first got here, uh, we went to Italy my freshman year in the summer. So that was just like a really fun, crazy experience, like coming to college, here you're going to Italy. Mm -hmm. But, and then another one would be on road trips, we on the bus, we have to sing if we forget something in the gym or at the hotel, and I always forget something like my shoes, <laughs> uh, my jacket, just anything, so that's fun. And I'm a terrible singer, so <laughs> it's fun for everybody. Sure. 
But yeah, and then every road trip, Coach Corey always makes sure that we do stuff outside of basketball. So like we went to Florida and we went speedboat racing on the water. So that was really fun. We went to Philadelphia and we saw like the Liberty Bell. Mm -hmm. So it was just, it's so much, I have so many memories. Did you forget anything in Philadelphia? I'm sure I did. I'm sure you did. <laughs> every <laughs> trip it happened, <laughs> I'm sure I did. When, when you think about this team and how far you all have come as, as a unit in your fifth year, what yeah. have you seen? Uh, so many different teams that I've been on at UCLA, like the different types of teams, it's just, it's grown from being like kind of sporadic and just here to play basketball. And then when Coach Corey came, now we, everyone's really close. It really is a sisterhood. And then every year I can feel that getting closer. And then, yeah, I mean, I'm my fifth year, I'm glad to go, but I'm gonna be sad because I'm gonna miss them a lot. What are your plans post-grad? Um, I would, I aspire to play, play in the WNBA and overseas for a few years. And then I want to eventually become an advocate for t girls or just young kids who get diagnosed with type 1 diabetes who aspire to be athletes. And then I also want to eventually create a cookbook that exemplifies different and shows different meals that can help you feel for competitions or games or just f that are that actually taste good, that are healthy and good for you, which is, I know, the goal of most cookbooks, but <laughs> I don't know, I think it'd be cool to actually gear it towards the, the disease and help people out. Casey, thank you so much. Thank you. This has been Spotlight with Casey Swain.